The conditions are favorable right now for ticks in Oklahoma. And to tell us more about it, we're joined by our extension livestock entomologist, Justin Talley. And Justin, let's start, start off you just telling us what you're hearing from horse owners and other livestock owners. Yeah, we're getting a lot of calls uh, about ticks on their horses, especially around their ears and along their mane and, and somewhere sometimes around their, their tail. But uh, this is a typical season that we're gonna start seeing ticks. And uh, we've gotten calls from all the way from Southwest Oklahoma to the east uh, in and around uh, the north central part of Oklahoma. So a pretty good part of the state. Yeah. What makes the conditions right for ticks and kind of you explained that it's the the cooler season and the winter season kind of mingling this time of year? Yes that's correct. We kind of we have an overlap of tick species. We have cool season ticks that are still around and we have our warm season ticks that are starting to pick up on our on our animals and uh, we're, when we have this overlap we tend to see more ticks on our horses or on our uh, cows and the ones we're seeing right now is we have the uh, black black legged tick that's uh, on the tail end of its season and then we're seeing a lot of the Gulf Coast tick as well as the Lone Star tick and the American dog tick and uh, we've sampled all three of these ticks uh, off of the animal and especially the Gulf Coast tick is the one that we find on the ears of both horses and cows. And I know you've seen some in this very pasture. Talk about the trees and kind of how they play into the ticks coming into the grass area. So anytime you have a tick population, most of the animals are gonna get them from the pasture environment. And so when you have a pasture that has trees like, like this in the background, where you have cedars mixed in with oaks, some, some elm trees, uh, you're gonna have higher levels of humidity. And anytime you have higher levels of humidity, you're gonna have a higher population of ticks because a tick can maintain itself where there's more humidity. Uh, whereas in an open grass field like such an area as this, you're, there's not gonna be a lot of ticks in this area because it's not gonna maintain humidity like where you they would in a tree canopy area. Okay. Now, in terms of treatment, how do I know when I should treat and what I should treat with? Yeah, so the, the main products that you can put on an animal are pyrethroid type products. They're, they're a safe product uh, that's the most commonly available product that you can put on a horse or cow right now. Uh, where you should treat for particularly Gulf Coast ticks are in and around the ears. And you can get a spray, you can get a wipe, <laughs> you can get all kinds of things to, to treat for, for these ticks. And especially if uh, around the ears uh, of, of, of the horse, because this is where they're gonna have the Gulf Coast tick. And along the mane of the horse is another area. So right underneath here, you'll see some uh, actually tick feeding sites right there. And so what you'll see is this is a critical area you need to treat along the ears and inside the ears and then just anywhere along the midline of this horse is a good spot to treat uh, and then for other tick species uh, you just need to <laughs> kind of treat the old whole animal okay we have a very good helper here yeah. with us today no we do so thank you for that demonstration and then in terms of ticks in general in Oklahoma you and the team have updated a fact sheet that really gives a lot of information tell us about that so we have an updated fact sheet it's uh, ticks and tick-borne diseases in Oklahoma and with that uh, we have uh, updated all the images and all updated all the recommendation as, as well as the distribution of where you can find these ticks and uh, you can find it uh, online and uh, we've uh, it's been updated as of uh, the first of this year. Okay terrific Justin Talley thanks a lot and thanks to our volunteer here <laughs> and for a link to that fact sheet on ticks just go to sunup.okstate.edu.